What's going on everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Smart Moving mod, and what this mod does is it basically adds different movements that you're able to do, and it makes already existing movements look way more realistic and a lot nicer. So, let me go ahead and hop in my single player world here, and I'll show you exactly what this mod does. Let me go ahead and put it in third person and your control button will be your grab button so if you come up to an edge or something and you jump and then hold control you can grab the edge and you can walk along it or scale along it and then if you hold up you'll just go ahead and climb up so that's one of the features is the grab feature now another thing is a super jump so I can't jump and grab that third block but if I hold shift then hold space and then jump I can jump higher and then I can grab it and again pull myself up now if I were to jump off of here I would take damage so if I want to get off without taking any damage I'll go ahead and hold control and slowly back off the edge until I grab it and then drop another thing you can do is crawl like an army crawl so if you hold shift and then hold control there you go you're doing your army crawl and stand back up another thing is if you hold control again and jump under some sort of ledge like this you can go ahead and grab on it and walk across so this would be a really cool mod to use in some sort of like parkour map or something like that some sort of custom map you can also slide on your stomach and to do this what you want to do is hold control then sprint and then hold shift when you're ready to slide there's also strafing that's added so you jump from side to side like this so like when you're running let's see if I can do this without messing up okay I'm already messing up come on sprint there we go and you can also jump back if I can get him to do it there we go so now let me go ahead and show you the diving feature so now you can actually dive instead of just jumping off of a cliff and just falling straight down and to do this what you want to do is go ahead and hold control and then sprint and then hold shift and then jump and there you go you're diving which brings us to the swimming feature it actually looks like you're swimming come up to the top swim around shift you can dive and then spacebar of course swim back up and now I'll go ahead and show you the flying feature so let me turn on creative mode and there we go now we are whoop, wrong button now we're flying <laughs> so this mod is a really cool this is one of my favorite mods when it comes to um, modification of the character so there's your flying and there's also the last thing actually no this is not the last thing I need to show you the uh, ladder so here's another thing is when you fall your arms start flailing and everything so let me go ahead and hop over here or uh, swim over here and I'll show you the ladders now so when you climb ladders it looks more realistic it's not exactly in sync with the climbing but it still looks a lot better than just sliding up a ladder so yeah that is the smart moving mod so I now need to clean out my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. You can use whatever you prefer. They all do work the same. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLoader, Player API, and the Smart Moving Mod itself. So to get these three things, I'll go ahead and give the link to these three pages in the description. So first off, for the Smart Moving Mod, if you go ahead and scroll down a little bit, we can go ahead and just download the current version, which is 6.6. .6. 
and you can either download it from Mediafire or Dropbox and what a Dropbox is it's a, a direct download so as soon as you click on the link it will automatically download it and this page also has all the features of the mod and how exactly to use them all so now to download mod loader if we go ahead and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 and you can either do download adfly or download direct whatever you prefer to do now for player API if we go ahead and scroll down a little bit again we go ahead and download the current version and you want to make sure you're downloading the client version do not download the, ser the server version so download the client version and again either the Mediafire or Dropbox whatever you prefer to do so that's how to download everything. Now when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data. Oops, I messed up. Type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here. And then open your roaming. Now open your dot minecraft. Now open your bin. Then what you want to do is left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, and do open with, and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Drag your Minecraft jar to the side. Now your bin, we don't need this open anymore, so we can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader, and highlight all these class files, and drag them into your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up Player API and in player API there should be a changelog.txt and a readme text we do not want to put these into your minecraft jar so what you want to do is go ahead and click on the first player API class then hold shift and then click on the last class before the readme text so that will highlight these four class files and drag those into your minecraft jar and hit OK now take the very last class file and simply drag that into your minecraft jar and hit OK so now you can go ahead and close player API now open up the smart moving mod and the folder we want to open since we're using mod loader is the second folder down so go ahead and open it up open up that and it'll open up this with three files so just simply highlight the three files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok so now you can go ahead and close this stuff and in your minecraft jar you should see a folder called made inf if you do not see this folder you don't freak out it's alright you can just go ahead and skip this step but if you do see it what you want to do is left click it then right click it and do delete files then select yes and that'll delete meta inf you want to make sure you always delete meta inf when you're installing a mod if you don't it'll cause minecraft to have a black screen and crash so now you can close your minecraft jar and that's it you're done installing this mod so i hope this video helped you guys out thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time